Oh my god. Check it out. It is 73 degrees. We've got beautiful blue skies up there. What a perfect day. It is 12.54 p.m. Just stunning out here. I've got all my windows down. The sunroof is open. 73 in March. It's March 28th. We've got 73 degrees. It doesn't get much better than that. Actually, 11 degrees warmer than San Diego right now. But of course, it's only 9.54 in the morning out there. So I just stopped over at the grandparents' house. I was out enjoying the beautiful weather. Stopped in, they're working outside. Stuff looks awesome. Everything's green and up. I cut three yards yesterday. I'll show you, I'm on my way home now. But check this out. We got dandelions over there. Freaking rates we do. I, mean, I hate dandelions, but it's a good sign of spring. And uh, it really, really, truly feels like May around here, which is awesome. I think I'm correct in saying that's an elm tree or a beech tree or something, and it's got buds on it. We got buds over there. That freeze we had two days ago does not seem to have affected very much at all, so that's great news. Yeah, check it out, it's the pool. That's right, I think they open uh, late May, whenever Memorial Day is, which seems like it's way too late, but we'll be back. Oh, take a look, we've got uh, friggin' sitting out at yours truly. If I had Big Dirty, I totally want to son of the shit out of him. Check it out, boys, we are up to 77 degrees. We've got a cloud blocking the sun right now, uh, but it's been out for a while, and 77 certainly feels good. Okay, gang, we're home now, and it's, it's still lovely. It's really hot, actually. And check out this tree that we put in a couple years ago. When I got back, I think I filmed it and it just started to bud and then it froze that one night. But it looks perfectly fine. Actually looks really nice. Uh, that, that one's always really slow. That one is too and so is that. But that's quick and that's quick and these are coming and it's just great progress. Anyway, so three yards I did yesterday. I started off over there. I actually took off a lot of grass. I took off a good two inches of grass over there. It took me about an hour, I trimmed everything up, blew it off, got the full service in. They pay me in checks, and now I, uh, since I use Chase, I can deposit my checks from my iPhone. Just take a picture of it and deposited my check. Uh, I did mine the last, I did it last night at like 8.30, it was dark, it was dark as hell. But I did it and the lines turned out okay, it's not bad. And then that was the second one I did over there, and it uh, looks good too. So everything's growing, and I am very happy. Oh, freaking right we are. Bill Collins on a 70 degree day. Just freaking awesome. Well, good morning. It's 12 o'clock here on Thursday already. Uh, this week has gone by incredibly quickly, which I guess is good. It puts me that much closer to graduation, I guess we could say, in May this year. I have eight weeks left, including this week, so really seven. Seniors get out about two weeks ahead of everybody else, which is great. Uh, anyways, this is the time of day when I come out and I tell you that I didn't film anything past coming home and listening to Phil Collins, which I love. And uh, I came home, I mowed the lawn across the street and to the right, so all four of my little monopoly of lawn mowing is done, which is good. My arms are killing me from using the, uh, the weed whacker. I don't know why, I never really had problems with it last year, but like my forearm, it, it just... It just hurts from holding this thing for probably 45 minutes today and well over an hour and a half yesterday. I'm not used to it, you know. It'll hurt for a day now and next time I use it, it'll be fine. But it's, I hate, I hate using weed whackers. I like mowing, just stand behind a mower, steer it, make some nice, make the yard look nice. Uh, and I, I guess that's what a weed whacker does too, I'm rambling. So we're gonna screw that. Anyways, uh, today is the, let's see, is that Tuesday in LA? when we drove up, or I think it's Wednesday. This is Wednesday for the vlog. That's right, because today's Wednesday. Yesterday was Wednesday. So this is the day when we got up in Los Angeles from the Hilton, and we pretty much did everything we did last year, uh, that for the last Friday of the trip in LA, except we had a lot more time, and we just did a better job with everything. I think we started out, I think we went to Santa Monica and went out on the pier. We had lunch on the pier. It was a beautiful day. In the LA smog, though, it just, it's, it was bad. It was even worse the next day. You couldn't see Malibu that well from the Santa Monica Pier. But we had lunch out there at, oh, is it Cam Camina Souls restaurant? I think that's the one out on the end of the pier. I had like my sixth inchila or, um, quesadilla when I was in California. I had seven quesadillas in seven days. They were great. Uh, so we were out there. We had a great lunch out on the pier. 
Um, then my dad actually got, he walked all the way back over to the Third Street Promenade. Maybe we started there that day. And he actually drove from the Third Street Promenade down to Venice Beach. And I wanted to walk. It's a nice walk along the beach. I walked in the sand for the first time in a year, which felt great. And um, I filmed quite a bit of that in the pier and the rings where Shay Carl did all, you know, swings around like a monkey on the rings. And, and that was cool. Uh, we did that. We did Venice Beach, which was scary as usual. A little freaky, but it was a good time. And after that, I think we just went over to Beverly Hills and Hollywood. We went on Rodeo Drive. Got some pretty cool cars over there. And then um, I ended the, the video with some filming uh, out of our hotel room at sunset. I don't think I narrated any of, any of that. Uh, but I'm going to keep this a little on the shorter side and enjoy the day from a week ago in Los Angeles. Good morning guys. Today is um, technically day 465 I think, but you're watching this in a week. And I haven't talked to you for a while. It's been really hectic and really busy and um, a really good time, but I haven't had time to go and sit and have you know the one-on-one -on -one with the camera that I usually do during my weekly vlogs and whatnot. So anyways, we're up here in uh, Universal Studios Hollywood right now at the Hilton. There is the Sheraton and the NBC building. It's Wednesday morning at 11.05 here in the Camaro. We've got the iPhone hooked up through 3.5 mil. We got the battery charger here. My dad left his wallet inside, so he's running up to get that. So he has his parking pass and driver's license and money and stuff. Uh, so we're going to go drive around UCLA right now. Today should be an awesome day. I think we're going to go do Santa Monica and Venice, um, Beverly Hills, and some more stuff for, around over here in Hollywood. Uh, I, I love it up here in LA for a couple days. I, I don't think I'd ever want to live here. Um, I really love San Diego though, so that's where I want to position myself. The two schools down there that I love, so we'll see what goes on. So this is the Hilton here. I don't think I can... Yeah, there it is. We're all the way upstairs. I'll film tonight. Uh, we're on room 1754, which is up on the 17th floor, and it's got some pretty good views. But as you know, Taylor's over here. He's across the street working, so I, I hope that he can get some time and we can go out to dinner with him tonight, or at least tomorrow night. We leave Friday morning, so um, hopefully before we leave. There's an X5 over there that's been parked here for days. Uh, that's cool. So I've got um, less than a half a battery left, so hopefully this thing is going to be able to power the flip. It is powered USB and it's, it powers the iPhone fine, so uh, we will try that. There is a beautiful Infiniti G37. That is cool. Alright, with that, the next footage you see, I'm just going to be aiming the camera around in here in the car through Hollywood and Beverly Hills and Santa Monica. I don't know if I'm going to be putting music to this or just kind of throwing it in there. If you don't want to watch it and you want to hear me talk, in five, ten minutes when I'm at home, then go do that, but I think it'll be boring. So, enjoy the views. Not many people swimming. <laughs> Water temperature is uh, probably 50. Air temperature is about 75. X5M license plate slow SUV. <laughs> Clever. I'm actually going down to the rings right now where Shea Carl works out. Um, I'm on the Santa Monica Pier. We just had lunch. It was very good. Oh, this is nice. What do we got? Six fee. Some kind of tail light treatment. It's a beautiful day, still, so I'll talk you at the rings. Oh, yeah. I have not walked on the beach in a while. And I got a phone call, so I gotta go for a sec.
Absolutely beautiful. A lot of haze out there though. Some guy's cat music on his bike. <laughs> Which is awesome. Love that. Oh, look at that. You can barely see the mountains out there. Can't even see Malibu from the pier. It's so hazy. So many people out here. I love it. It's exciting. <laughs> awesome. Oh yeah, I'll take an apartment over here. Big times. Check it out. That'd be freaking awesome. All right, it's not gonna pick it up, but my dad's going to get the car on uh, Fifth and Broadway in Santa, Mar Santa Mara. Been seeing too many Panameras in Santa Monica. Check out this hotel here. It's nice. So I am beating him to Venice. Friggin' right. Now you can see the pier all the way down there. That's where I started walking. And I am slowly approaching Venice Beach. Maybe he's shooting today. Today'd be a good day. Except I don't see him. Right here? Right there. Yeah. Interesting place to film. It's gonna be cold. It's gonna be colder as frig, boys. Here it comes. It's gonna be really cold. Oh, God. How are there people swimming down there? I don't understand. Adult Caprendo. All right, let's we'll see if there's any cool cars. There's also Bay Run, yeah. That's a good start. <laughs> and uh, a little C63 Chrysler 300 competitor. I think the most popular car around here in Beverly Hills is a Mercedes. People that have more money than sense generally buy that. <laughs> yeah, that makes two. That's, that's that guy that died. All right, 12.04 Eastern Time, you just watch that. Um, I'm going to edit these last two clips that I made in, and that's going to be it for today. Tomorrow's Thursday. We're dropping like 30 degrees back down to 45. Today was a perfect 75 and sunny. It was supposed to be 70 in thunderstorms. No clouds, no rain. Go figure, those weathermen suck. Uh, so I will talk to you tomorrow on uh, Thursday. And looking at that, that kind of reminds me a little bit of an album cover from the 60s, I want to say. Let me know what you think that might be. Talk to you tomorrow. Oh, yeah. And Bobby says hi. Good night.